So that's why it's important you buy the best seeds that you can afford because then you'll be making the most money you can possibly make from selling crops. Hello farmers and welcome to another Roblox farm video in your most favorite Roblox farming game. Yes, I can tell by reading all my comments, you guys really like farming and friends compared to literally every other farming video I record. Well, actually, like farming game I record. Look at this. The menu is not very intuitive. Let's see. Farm. Slot 2. Why do we click slot 2? I'm going to show you something very exciting that we're about to do. We're going to click, click slot. But if you look, it's 75 Robux. But we can afford it. Wow. Now we have an extra farm slot. And oh my gosh, we just deleted our farm. Wait, did we delete our farm? There we go. My farm's still here. So that's right, everyone. We have farm number 2. I don't know what I'm doing with farm number 2 because I don't want to, like, play this whole game over again because, like, I, I did... I already beat the game. I'm not going to beat it a second time. There's no point. There's no incentive. So, we're here today to see how quickly we can make money as a starter using everything we know about this game. Because I've played this game, I don't know, maybe like a year or two, but I've played it long enough to know how to make money here, so maybe I can help you guys by giving advice. So the first thing we should do is take inventory of what we have. We already have a field full of wheat, we have a combine, tractor, trailer, that's where I believe we can uh, load, load the crops into. Um, we have the plow, we have the cultivator, and then we have the cedar. So, very bare bones, but this is what every farm starts out with. And I think the best thing to do is one, get into the tractor. There we go, we're gonna back up to this, and we're just gonna pull it alongside here. We're gonna keep on the road, there we go, because you drive faster when you're on the road. If you're on the grass, you go a little bit slower. So this is probably my most favorite vehicle design in the game because it's, I love the compact size of this combine because combines are supposed to be really big in real life, yet this one's not. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to pick up all the wheat. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much wheat is being stored in your combine. Right now we're at 30 and this field will total to 50, which is how much this can hold. The developers are nice enough to give you plenty of equipment though to start the game off with, but none of that equipment is very good. I mean, it's good for picking up wheat and selling it, but wheat is a very bad crop. I mean, it's not bad, but if you're new to the game, you want to get away from wheat as quickly as possible. But next up, we're just going to go ahead and dump this into our trailer. It's going to take a few moments as it slowly drains out. Next up, we are going to go ahead and sell all this. And I guess this video can also act as a guide for new players. So if you are new to the game, welcome. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to sell this really quickly. Uh, you uh, park your trailer over one of these grain bin area things, whatever they're called. And then you open the sell menu like this and you can see all the perks. I recommend joining the Dun Games group because you do get the extra 5% coins. It's not that much, it's just 10, but it does add up in the future, especially when you're selling millions of dollars of coins of crops. But we can make 210 coins from this. Next up, we need to go ahead and buy some seeds because obviously we don't have any, we just have equipment. So heading over to Farmco, this is where you buy your seeds. At corn, we can't afford, it's 250, we have 210, but we can buy wheat. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna buy one box of this. So we're going to go ahead, oh look at this, there we go, we can talk to him, buy this box, I think we can drop it in here too, there we go, and we're going to go back to our farm. But back at the farm, we need to go ahead and prepare our field, we could have, uh, actually no, we can't even afford to get a bigger field yet, uh, I don't know how much that is, but I think it might be like $10 per tile, or 10 coins per tile. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and just use our equipment to go ahead and prepare the field first by plowing it. So if you are new to this game, I would highly suggest checking out some of the other videos I have on my channel, especially some of my older ones where I am newer to the game. One little nugget of information I do want to share with you is just stick to crops. Don't bother with planting other things like trees or cocoa. Don't bother with that, okay? Just grow crops. That is by far the most profitable way to make money in the game, um, especially once you get some of the better crops unlocked. But now that the field is prepared, we can go ahead and equip the final piece of equipment, which is the cedar, which is still in the garage because we have not used it yet. So this cedar, I assume, will hold 50 seeds. It does, so we can go ahead and fill it up with this box. To fill, just hold V, or just press V, actually. And now we are ready to seed our field. We can go ahead, get rid of the cedar, and hook back up to the trailer where we are going to go ahead and prepare to sell our next load of crops. So the current goal we are working towards is to save up to unlock the next crop, which I believe is going to be corn. But this wheat grew super quickly. It's not all fully... Is it fully? I guess it is fully grown, huh? Okay. 
So it's all fully grown, I mean, except for a few patches here and there, but by the time we get around to it, it will be grown. And it doesn't take much time at all to harvest all the crops, and now we are ready to go ahead and go sell them. I don't really care what the price is at the store, chances are it's not going to be the rainbow price we saw earlier, just because uh, those are a little bit rare. And the prices do change every 5 minutes I believe, but if we actually look right here, it's still rainbow, which is good. So we're going to get 4 coins per wheat, so 4 times 50, do some basic math. Hold on, let's actually sell this first. It's 200 coins. <laughs> so that brings us up to a total of 320 coins. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is go ahead and buy some corn. So like I showed a little bit ago, the corn seeds are 250 coins per box and there are 50 seeds in a box. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy what we can afford, which is, oh, hold on. I'm only allowed to buy a wheat seed box. Okay, I'm not sure why that is. Yoo-hoo! Hello, this is Bunny while editing this video. I just want to clarify that what you are seeing right now is a bug in the game. You should be able to buy corn seeds, but there is a bug that sometimes prevents you from doing that, as you can see, and the way to fix this is just rejoining the game. It took me a bit to realize that this was a bug, so I ended up just buying two boxes of wheat, but if you can afford but if you can afford to buy corn, buy corn! So apparently we can't buy corn, the guy at the counter does not allow us, so we're just going to go ahead and buy uh, this box. We can actually carry two boxes at once, I completely forgot. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to set this in here and drop it. Uh, I mean, there's not really even a point of buying a second box because we can't... Eh, yeah, we might as well. Though I believe there might be some sort of bug that's preventing me from buying other seeds like the corn I wanted to buy. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to plant these two boxes and then I'm going to rejoin the game and hopefully we will be able to buy some other crops. So we do have an extra 120 coins which we are going to put towards expanding our field. So there's two different types of soil, you have standard field and forest soil, pretty obvious we don't want the forest soil. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to drag this here. Look at this. Oh, we can't even afford- wait, I shrink this at least. Okay, I can shrink this. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm not used to this building system at all. I don't know why it works like this. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, we're trying to- okay, this is 120 coins, so this is going to set us right down to zero coins. And adding these extra tiles to our farm is relatively insignificant in the short term, um, and maybe in the long run too. Uh, but it just does give us a way to, I don't know, have a larger field. <laughs> so we won't be able to hold those extra eight tiles that grow in any of our vehicles though, just because the max capacity for our harvester slash combine is 50. The cedar is 50. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was a bit pointless to expand our field. We could have definitely put that money towards bigger equipment, but I mean, it doesn't really hurt to have a larger field either way. So I've been trying to think of what should be the next piece of equipment that we upgrade and I don't think it should be the plow. I don't think it needs to be the cultivator either. The cedar, I don't think we need to upgrade, but it, we, it would help to have the extra capacity. So I might be a little mistaken here, but I think we should focus on buying a better tractor as our next upgrade. And that's just so that we can use some of the better equipment that we'll be able to unlock once we can afford it. So it looks like I also have a neighbor who is doing the same thing as me, just growing some wheat, because wheat is the start of crop, I guess. We can also go ahead and pick up this extra wheat that we do have, but unfortunately it won't fit in our trailer, so we'll have to deliver it on the second trip. So going from zero coins, we are going to go up to... Oh, wait, nope, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, sell menu, there we go. So we're going to go up to 210 coins, look at that. So we will have to go ahead and grow the rest of those seeds so that we can afford the corn seeds, but we can't even buy the corn seeds yet, which is why I'm going to go ahead and rejoin the game. So it's a brand new server, we automatically load onto our farm, it's our second slot, so let's go ahead and sell the rest of the wheat in our combine, that way we might be able to afford a uh, box of corn. And we can't forget that we do still have those seeds inside the cedar for corn or for wheat, so we might have to go ahead and plant those beforehand. But that's all relying on the fact if we can even buy corn or if it's still bugged. Hopefully it's not. If it's bugged, that's a big issue. I think people have been reporting it in the Discord server, but I don't know if it's been fixed yet. So we'll see. Actually, I just completely forgot we have to sell this first. <laughs> 
So the price of wheat dropped in the server, so now we're, on, we're only going to have 235 coins, which is 15 below what we need. So I guess we're going to go ahead and plant another batch of wheat. So rejoining the server did fix the issue. I was able to buy a box of corn for 250 coins after getting rid of the rest of my wheat. Before we actually plant this corn though, I want to go ahead and talk to you about some basic math to explain why we are trying to get better crops unlocked instead of just farming more and more and more wheat. So one box of wheat costs us 100 coins, and assuming we sell it when it's rainbow at 4 coins per wheat, we are going to make 210 coins per box, which also factors in the group bonus, which is, I don't know, it's like 10 coins though, so I think 5%. So that means with the wheat, we are only profiting 110 coins per box. Now with corn on the other hand, Corn, it's 250 per box, but each corn sells for 12 coins each. Assuming we sell it at rainbow price, uh, we could like average it out at 10, but we're just gonna say 12. So that means we're gonna be able to sell this box of corn here for 600 coins, and subtracting the cost of buying the box, we're going to be profiting 350 coins just from this one box alone. Now compare that to corn, which is only a third of that at 110 coins per box. So that's why it's important you buy the best seeds that you can afford, because then you'll be making the most money you can possibly make from selling crops. And now it's time to plant the corn. It is going to take a little bit longer to grow, but still, because it's such a cheap crop in the game, it won't take that long. And because we only have 50 seeds of corn, because that's the most we can afford, we won't be filling up the entire field with corn seeds. And as we wait for the corn to grow, I want to go ahead and tell you our strategy for upgrading equipment. So the first thing we want to upgrade again, like I said earlier, is the tractor because once we have the upgraded tractor, we can start buying level 2 equipment, which is better because it'll give us faster growth times, it'll allow us to farm more tiles as we're driving down our field with either our plow or our cultivator, and then we'll be able to buy a larger trailer that can hold more seeds. There's really no point uh, right now in the short term to actually upgrade our combine because it works perfectly fine. The only issue is that it does have a really low capacity at 50 seeds, but you can easily just dump your seeds into the trailer and continue doing that until you farm the entire field. Before we end this video though, we will be selling our corn and then taking a look at the vehicle store to see how much the next tractor level will cost us. We won't be buying that next tractor though because we have to farm corn a few more times that way we build up enough money to buy the corn seeds and also get the tractor without setting us too far back. But it looks like the corn is ready so let's go ahead and pick it all up. I would say it only took 2 minutes for all this to grow which is really not that bad at all. And there's also no point in expanding our field until we can actually afford to buy more than one box of seeds at a time. And before we sell, the price of corn is 10 coins, so it is down 2 from what we saw earlier when it was rainbow and 12. So that's going to give us a little bit fewer coins, but it is still a bright green, meaning it is a good price. So our total is 525 coins, that's very nice, and that brings us up to 686 coins. We can either buy another uh, 2 boxes this time of corn seeds, or you can actually see what the next level tractor is and maybe you could get it. But I doubt it'll be less than 1000 coins though, it's just, that'd just be way too cheap. So here in the menu, we have all the tractors that we can afford, well not afford, but buy. So you can obviously spend Robux if you want one of these tractors. This is a level 2, which is the next level up, if you want to spend 120 Robux or just get some higher level ones. We're not going to spend Robux though. So looking here, this is the tractor we have, it's not that good, but the next level up is 4,500 coins. That's definitely going to give you something to work towards because it is a long ways off. You'll probably have to sell corn a few more times, I would say like 5 or 6 times maybe. Actually no, maybe like 10 times, I don't know. <laughs> maybe 10 times selling corn. But there are other ways to go about spending the money. You don't necessarily just have to save up and just keep buying one box of corn seeds. You could just expand your field. You can then buy multiple boxes of corn seeds, but the only problem is that all of your equipment you currently have right now only can hold up to 50 seeds or 50 
harvested corn at a time. It's just a matter of weighing the pros and cons to figure out what you want to do as you work towards upgrading to the next level tractor. That's it for today's video though, if you did find it helpful, consider pressing the subscribe button, it will be appreciated. If you want to see more Farming and Friends content, let me know by pressing the like button or just leaving a comment, I read all my comments. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section and we'll respond. But that's it, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!